baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. Hey guys, it's Sharika. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So you guys know that I am going on vacation this week. So I wanted to show you guys my vacation hair. It's by Arabella hair. It's so pretty. 30 inches. Look how long. So pretty. So right now it's a little wet. I wanted to come on here and show you guys this because every time I wear my curly hair, I always get so many questions. Now I'll be wearing this hair in a ponytail. Y'all know I like the pull back with the long ponytail. So you guys will be seeing this hair throughout the vlog. I did want to just let you guys know that it is from Arabella Hair. So I'm gonna pop in my unboxing and let you guys get a better look of the hair in its natural state how it looks without the product on it, and I'll have all the information down below. So let's get into it. so soft and like I said right now it's wet um, because I put some product on it I like to use the can to come back curl on my hair anytime I use the curly hair but it's so so pretty I love it so much this is the lace really pretty look at this So cute. So like I said, I'll have all the information along with the discount code in the description box below. If you guys want to see how I work on vacation, don't forget to just continue watching the video. Okay, y'all. So today is Friday and I just wanted to show y'all how good I packed. I packed so good. What I did was I usually just save these little baggies right here like if I get a package from Amazon even she in I keep these little baggies this one is a she in the rest of them are from Amazon and I have all of the outfits inside these baggies the two pair of shoes um, I got these right here I showed y'all these before I got these from Amazon I'll link them in the description box below but in the mesh baggies I have um, my makeup in one. I have my skincare in one, my little medication. Um, and then these are like a bunch of tampons because you never know. And then I also have the, um, the little period panties. I have those two to sleep in. And if I have to put on a pair while I'm there, Y'all know the drill with that. Um, some wet wipes. And then these are the disposable towels that I use to uh, dry my face. And then my bedroom shoes. I have some lotion down there. This lotion right here. I love this lotion. It looks so good on my skin. I've told y'all about this before. This is like an oldie but goodie. I've been using this for years. Probably over 10 years. I really, really like it a lot. Um... It makes your skin look really nice. So, I have that down there. How do I have this in it? Right down like that. And then this is the bag that I'll be carrying. And then this stuff right here, this is what I'm going to have on me. Um, because I'm not too sure when they're going to give us our bags. So, y'all know I have to have my, my little protection just in case. Just in case. So, 
I have some of these, a little period panties. And then these are just some little spanks to keep everything nice and smooth. This is what I'm going to wear once we get there. Um, I was going to wear it on the way there, but then I said, well, just in case I have a little situation, you know, no. So, um, but I'm going to carry this outfit right here in the bag just so it's, soon as we get there get in our room I can change because I know we have to wait for the bag but I'm gonna wear um, that green dress that's right there cuz y'all know the vibe is like green and white and then I got some black but um yeah I'm gonna wear that dress right there so I just wanted to come show y'all how good I packed and this is for three days in my little small suitcase I did a good job good morning hi guys hi guys <laughs> <Crystal. laughs> y'all we are on the road we've been riding for a while now it said we get there at 11 11 Lord please make a witch Khalila Lord please please yes hello. <laughs> and open and open oh they open, and open. And over there putting the chicken out right now. Oh, oh. I'm Girl, coming. Ryan got us at Popeyes. It is 10.04 right. in the morning, okay? We had Pepe's. And we had Pepe's trying to get us something to eat mm. and gassing up. So, we have like an hour left to drive. We it's have 35 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> we have 30. Oh, yeah. Crystal time. 35 minutes. We have 35 minutes. We getting in a good time, so... the night with y'all. <laughs> Where we at? Right now, we came up. Come yeah, we're to the camping. I'm going to camping. Okay, y'all, we looking for our room. Oh, the 8, 466. But now we know. 465. Girl, I keep having these little nip slips, and I don't have no pasties. This way. Okay. All right, y'all. Here's our room. Me and my little sister. We don't have a window, but it feels it feels more like a hotel. <laughs> so yeah, this is the room, y'all. Wave, Kalila. I don't mind it. No windows. I'm fine with that. Right now, we're gonna get cleaned up a little bit. 
and I think we're gonna, I, we didn't even talk about if we meeting them or what. I guess we gotta call them, we'll call their room and see what the plan is. Cause Ryan you talking about he's sleepy. So I'm ready to put on some clothes. Yeah, I'm ready to put on some clothes and go. Uh, we have reservations to, do we have a, no man, Khalil have reservations at the steakhouse tomorrow. And then they have, we have reservations for the restaurant Finn, which we went to to have the buffet. It was terrible, it was bad. But hopefully tonight it'll be a little bit better. Um. So yeah, I think they're having like a party at the on the top deck. And I might just take my phone because this camera has been a lot to tote around. So we might take the phone to film. And our luggage still hasn't got here, but it should be here shortly. Hopefully we'll have to wait too long. So yeah, I'm super thirsty. <laughs> we'll see y'all later. All right, y'all. Bad news. Girl, they don't got nobody ironing here. So my pants are so wrinkled. Y'all like the glasses? I'm about to play draw. Let me show y'all about. Well, let me turn y'all around. So, you know what I'm saying? What y'all can see? It say take one to two tablets every four to six hours. This is the outfit, if y'all can see. I'm going to stand right here by the light. So this is the outfit. These are the shades. They don't have an iron, so I look kind of thrown away. And I'm not going to be able to, um, let me turn around. I'm, I won't be able to lotion up or nothing because all of my lotion is in my luggage. But I brought this extra outfit and put it in my bag that I was carrying with me. So that was the only reason I'm able to change. <laughs> my lips is dry. Y'all got a lip gloss, Kalila? Damn. Should I wear these or these? Y'all know these just my favorite. I just love this vibe. It just, they go at everything. <laughs> Which one do you think, Kalila? Just let it rattle because you gotta let it too bad. <laughs> I like these two and this is the only outfit that I brought that I can wear with these. That's cute. I think I brought the other ones too, if I'm not mistaken. These look real cute on you. I was telling them how cute you look with them with your braids. Alright, the luggage is here. Oh. Yeah. The actives have compiled the information that you asked us to. Are you ready to take a look at some of that now? Yeah. Yeah. He's doing yeah. Alila's doing her makeup. And then we're going to head, I think, on the top deck. Crazy story. We don't have any Wi-Fi. Our phone doesn't have any service. And we don't know Crystal and Ryan's room number. So, I don't know what we're going to do. I guess we're just going to have to bump in them on the way to the turn up. So, I'm drinking my four dollar and ninety five cent water, girl. Cause they're gonna charge me for it, but I'm so thirsty. <laughs> All right, we're going to deck nine for the safety drill. And this is cell phone footage, so I know it might look a little green. Okay. Today, drain me. <laughs> We found them. I need a drink. This girl.
finally moving. It's six o'clock. We're finally moving, so we're coming out to see the water. Hopefully the sun will be out tomorrow so we can do some stuff out here on the day. Because everybody inside, huh? I almost fell. I thought I was falling to the water. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It takes three hours. Twelve. Twelve. The other receipt flew down. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Today is Sunday. <laughs> it is early in the morning. It's about 6.15. Yesterday we really didn't do much. Um, it rained. What is my? Oh, it rained yesterday. So they were supposed to have like a little takeoff party on the top deck, but it rained outside, so they didn't do it. Um, so. We just kind of sat around. We didn't do much. And then we probably came back to the room um, around like 9 o'clock and we knocked out. <laughs> and I woke up like 1 o'clock. And Khalil was good and sleep because we were supposed to meet back up at 11 and go to the club on the boat. Girl, we were knocked out. So I didn't wake up, like I said, until one. So one time, found out it was one o'clock, I went back to sleep. So now I'm up, ready for the day. Last night, um, the guy knocked on the door and came and gave me the um, paperwork for our excursion which the meetup time is really early. It's like at 8.35, we're going to feed the pigs, me and Kalila. I don't think Ryan and Chris are doing an excursion. Um, so, that's what we'll be doing today. Cause we should be in the Bahamas now. Um, Cause you know, it only takes three hours to get to the Bahamas. So yesterday, once he took off, you know, they'll kind of sit in the middle of the sea for a while. And then um, I think that's what they call sea day. And, um, but we were asleep. <laughs> so we should be in the Bahamas right now. But y'all know our room doesn't have any windows, which I'm fine with that. Cause it kind of gives it like a little hotel vibe. I'm fine with that. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm going to be taking my phone again because I don't want to bring my camera out there. And I got my big camera. Let me show you which one. I have this one today. So, this is my Canon M50. And y'all know I got that big lens on this camera. So, um, yeah. I started to bring my smaller camera but I'm trying a new setting on that camera. My, um, I'm trying to do it in manual mode. And so I have like, I just be messing with it all the time. So I really haven't got used to it. I wanna make sure the quality good. But since we're, we're outside, I should be able to get some good um, footage on my cell phone since we're in the sun. I had this little baggie right here with my vitamins and stuff in it. Lotion on it. What is it? I don't know. Throw out a few goodie powders for anybody that needs them. So, um, let me take my probiotic. Um, yesterday we went to Finn's, which is the restaurant on the boat where you order from the menu. It was pretty good. Um, I had the shrimp skewers and it had like a mango salsa on it. That was good. And then I also had some poached lobsters with mashed potatoes and broccoli. And then later on we had some pizza. <laughs> 
we had pizza for lunch and then we had the restaurant <laughs> oh excuse me we had the pizza for lunch which was a barbecue pizza it was really good and we were supposed to order another one last night but we ended up falling asleep she had a child of us she waking up with a child of us <laughs> but um and then for dinner we did the fins so like i said it was pretty good um, today we have reservations at the steakhouse. Me and Kalila, Rain, and Crystal. I don't think they're doing it. She said that she was still deciding on whether she wanted to do it or not. But we booked ours already. So um, that's what we'll be doing today. And we'll probably have pizza or either try their burger spot. Because I've been hearing a lot of good things about their burger spot. So we'll probably do burgers for lunch. Um, and then we will go to the restaurant the steakhouse tonight and then that'll be it i think we get off the boat probably like eight o'clock in the morning and that'll be our quick little bahamas trip so today we'll be in the bahamas enjoy, enjoy the bahamas um like i said i'll try to vlog as much of that as i can and yeah so let's get the day started i'm gonna put y'all down for a second because i'm gonna hop in the shower um girl i ain't even been doing my makeup really like i kept the same outfit on the entire day yesterday because the plan was to kind of switch out outfits a little bit but i didn't really see the need to do that so the outfit that i choose today will probably be the outfit that i wear for the rest of the day and i might not do my makeup again just keep my sunglasses on them so it's been an easy cool trip not too much to worry about it's just been cool i ain't been trying to get no pictures or nothing like that so like i said i'll probably just you know put on a little bit of powder and lip gloss and pop on my shades and that'll be it i ain't gonna do my eyebrows none of that stuff so <laughs> i'll take y'all with me today so let me get in the shower and i'll see y'all later I brought some sample perfumes with me. Um, I didn't bring any of my bottles of perfume. And I have this Louis Vuitton Rhapsody. Oh God. I didn't like that. <laughs> I wore that one yesterday. I have another one up here somewhere. But I think I might just wear some of my little sister perfume because she brought YSL and then she brought this Miss Dior. I bought her this for her birthday. She loves it. Y'all see how much she didn't use. <laughs> but she wore this thing yesterday. So I'm going to see this one she wears today and I'll just wear a different one. And I don't know where I put all those perfumes. They might be in the bathroom. So, oh, let me sit down because I'm nervous y'all. I am. I'm nervous now. Because now we're going to be out and about, and I'm nervous. I'm not going to even lie to y'all. So, I hate this feeling. It shouldn't be that bad today, though. But, we'll just have to see. Have a nice day, ladies. Thank you. So now we're off the boat. We're in the Bahamas. We're going to the terminal to go on our excursion. Cover up is on my head. Oh, I just felt something on my foot. I dropped the phone in the water, y'all. 
Do not say that, please. They gotta come out of there. They gonna be like, there's breakfast, and they're gonna come like, they gonna be like fresh meat. You think I should put my cover on my hands? Yeah. You don't want to get it wet. I'm gonna tie this on my head better than this. I just had to do a little one-two while the pigs were on the way. Oh gosh, <laughs> But we're going to see the little pigs. That pig was crapping all in the damn water. It was very gross. This is fun though. I tried to fix my cover up on my head. Go, you want to go further? 
You want to go further? Kalila, please. Cause you gonna make me panic. You already know how I am. Is it a hot time? Is it a hot time? No, remember the further we go, we go a little further, then it's gonna start. Yeah, it's, gonna it's gonna start getting. I'm on my tippy toes. I'm drinking just coconut water and Kalila has a what you got Kalila she got a frozen drink in hers well it ain't frozen no more really? Kalila get it you gonna have to do you gonna have to do it like the island guy and drink it from the coconut. <laughs> you have to take it to the head, baby. <laughs> back up and my battery on my camera died and my charger was in rain tomorrow so we just linked back up with them so they're getting burgers oh my gosh look at all these birds and then Kalila we're getting drinks I'm getting a version Miami Vice and Kalila's getting two shots so we're just chilling we're going back been fun had a good time glad I came you said what I am tired of you <laughs> It is six o'clock, you might as well say. 5.59 and I'm just, y'all know how I do my thing in the morning. I've showed you guys before. I like to have my quiet time, hence why I'm kind of whispering a lot. That's just how I am in the morning when I wake up. I don't like a lot of noise, anything like that. I like to just relax and <laughs> I got home yesterday around like four o'clock um, and Tony picked me up from Ryan House. So the trip overall, the trip was nice. Um, Saturday when we got there, the trip was very boring um, because there was really nothing going on. It was raining outside. 
so there really wasn't much to do um and then we decided okay well we're just gonna eat i had a few mocktails i had this one mocktail called miami vice um y'all know they have miami vice in miami at the um what is that place called where they have all the different slushies and stuff like that they have a miami vice in there so i've had it before but theirs tastes a little bit different which it was really really good even without the alcohol so when they was trying to get their drinks i told them that they should try to get the miami vice with the alcohol of course because it was just delicious so i had a few like i said a few mocktails they had their drinks their shots and we had a good time we tried to make the best of it they didn't really have like good music playing or anything like that um so then what else did we do we did the buffet the first day for lunch i couldn't do the buffet because it just the buffet wouldn't get me <laughs> So we ended up paying for, me and Kalila ended up paying for most of our meals. Um, but y'all know they do that one night where you can order from a menu, which was the restaurant Fins, which is the same restaurant they have the buffet. Um, so they have a one night where you can order from the menu, which was pretty good. Or later on that day, we went to a piece of spot and we got this barbecue pizza. It was really good. So if you guys ever go on that cruise, um, go to the pizza spot it's really good they do have like a burger spot but um the buns are really hard so i didn't really like that um and then y'all know the next night was it the next night yeah the next night me and kalila we have reservations at the steakhouse which is jwb steakhouse that's also on the boat um, that was pretty good. We both had ribeyes, mashed potatoes, and asparagus. Kalila had some fried oysters as her appetizer. And it had like some type of um, spinach, creamy spinach under it. That was pretty good. And I had the shrimp cocktail as my appetizer. And then we both had um, the mocktail mojito. So that was good. And then... And then the next day, um, like Sunday, we spent a lot of time from Ryan and Crystal because we had our excursion. So we went to Crystal Beach and we fed the pigs. We had a really good time. Um, we got in the water, uh, which is, that's something that I usually don't do, y'all. I'm tell you right now, I don't really, I don't like the ocean and stuff like that. Like I like to look at it. I like to like, you know, walk in it but as far as like really getting deep in, into the water i don't i don't usually do that and it's just because i don't really like nature like that like i don't like um you know fish and different things that i could possibly see in the ocean that gets close to me i don't like that kind of stuff because <laughs> i'm low-key scared of that stuff so i don't really like that but we had a really good time um we danced we you know we had food my phone and my camera ended up dying while we was um, on the excursion, but I got as much as I could. But we had a really fun day. And then when we got back, we met up with Ryan. And um, both nights, we were supposed to go to the club, but we were just so tight because that sun just beat us up. And then, you know, with them drinking a lot, um, they didn't last too long. So we didn't do any partying or anything like that. So yeah, overall, the trip was pretty good. Will I go back? Yes, I will go back to the Bahamas, but not on that cruise ship. And I told y'all before, I do like the cruise vibe. I have been on a cruise before. I went to Cozumel and uh, Key West. And because we did like a couple's cruise, me and Tony, it was a while ago. So I have did a cruise before and I really like that vibe just to chill and go to different spots and stuff like that so I think that will be um, the way that I travel um, but like I said I will go back to the Bahamas but just not on that cruise ship because I just I mean the, the cruise ship wasn't bad that is a good starter cruise I would say 
um, and it was Kalila's first time. So it was nice for her, even though she didn't really like it either um, as much. Um, but y'all know how I am. So, you know, the Margarita Cruise is that it's not really my vibe, um, but I, I will do more cruises. We're actually trying to plan another one soon um, with my family, me, Tony, and um, my son. So, yeah, I'm going to just hit up some of my girls um, on here on YouTube that I know take cruises all the time and see what they recommend because I've seen some of the videos on them going on cruises and the cruise lines that they take is my vibe. <laughs> so, um, right now we're looking at Royal Caribbean. That goes to a few different places. It's a seven day cruise. I've never did a seven day cruise. So the longest was always three days. Um, so I'm excited. It was a lot of fun. I'm happy that I went. Um, so I still need to unpack. Um, I'm gonna try to do some meditating this morning. But I told y'all, it's kind of tough for me to meditate because my mind just goes everywhere. And I guess, you know, the more I do it, the better I get. And I haven't really been doing it as much as I should. But I'm going to try to do a little bit of meditating this morning. Just some praying and try to get my mind together. Because, to be honest, I've been struggling a little bit with, you know, everything that's going on. And I don't like talking about it because I always get teared up. <laughs> um, but I'm trying not to let it defeat me. So I'm trying to be strong about it. The sofa is supposed to be delivered today. I have to go roll up that rug that's in the room. Because I still haven't did that. So <laughs> I'll pick y'all back up in a few. I still have on my eye patches, y'all. This is one of the shirts that I bought. I bought three of these shirts. I bought one for myself, one for Tony, little Tony, and one for um, my mom. And then I bought big Tony, like the keychain. So I forgot to give my mom her souvenir. I'll send it, mama, because <laughs> I know she watching. So I have a few things that didn't make the cut on this trip. This little white bikini set with the tube top. Um, this little set right here. This is a cover up that I got from um, Amazon. It looks really cute on. I'm definitely going to wear this as soon as I can. It's like this. And then you just wear it with a bikini or a bathing suit, whatever. This was the one that I wanted to wear when we went on our excursion. The white shorts. And I was going to wear it with a bikini top. I have my other bikini top. I was going to wear it with this one right here. Which I'll pop up a picture on the side so y'all can see how it looks. <coughs> right here, so I was gonna wear these shorts with this, probably these bottoms. But I was having like a little bit of spotting and I just didn't want to chance it. I, I got real nervous. <laughs> the anxiety kicked in. Let me keep these little baggies for next time and then I didn't get to wear this because we really kept on the same stuff the entire day it just um I just didn't see the point in changing because it wasn't that much stuff going on so I'm just like okay I ain't changing <laughs> so I didn't get to wear the green pants yeah I was gonna wear the top a green bandeau. I was going to wear that twice. Um, once to the beach and then I was going to wear it 
after we got back on the boat, I was going to change into these. Um, wash that one out. But that never happened. This little outfit right here was a success. I love this. This was so pretty. I got so many compliments on it. And it got snagged. And I got a hole in it. So I'm going to take this to Miss Lola and see if she can fix it. Which I'm pretty sure she can. With the matching kimono. And if you guys missed this when I packed it, this is from Dillard's. Both of them are from Dillard's. This is my pajamas. My green bikini bottoms was a success. I really love these linen pants. So I was able to wear these. I didn't wear the jeans, which I was going to wear the jeans. And either one of these tops would have worked. The little white top or the puffer white top. Where is it? Yeah, it was a puffer white top. And I wore the green dress. Uh oh, where's my um? Y'all, I think I left my green top. No, it might be up front. My little Spanx. I lost this um, charger cord, so I wanted to go through this stuff to see if I could find it, but it's not in here. And it was a really good trip, y'all. It really was. Let me just separate this stuff that needs to be washed. And then, like I said, I need to... Um, roll this wall so it's gonna be a while before they come with the couches and stuff and y'all probably won't see, see that on this vlog um y'all see that on the next vlog but it is supposed to be delivered today it's been raining like crazy so hopefully um that doesn't interfere with my delivery let me show y'all some stuff that i bought that didn't make the cut <laughs> that I'm going to actually take back. Let me see. Let me take this. Get this up. I brought these earrings too to wear with um, the little dress that I had on yesterday, which y'all didn't get to see, but that's already in dirty clothes because I had that on yesterday. And I wanted to wear these little earrings right here, but we didn't do anything. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Um, I found some really cute stuff at Forever 21. But I just figured it didn't fit fine. So <laughs> I'm going to take it back. This is just a long dress. And it's sleeveless. So it just has this top. Like this. But I didn't like it because I didn't like the pleats. See how that is? Like right here, right here. Sometimes to me it gives House on the Prairie vibes. So, a little house on the prairie. And I just, sometimes, just depending on how it fits, I just don't like it. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. So, I didn't like the way that this one fit. I got it in a medium, so it wouldn't be so big. Um, But I just didn't like it, so I'm taking this one back. And this right here, this was so cute. But, again, it didn't fit the vibe because it's see-through. And that's not what I was trying to give. But it has like this little ruffle at the bottom. So if you got body, this looks really good. It looks really cute on. But like I said, because it's just not what I was going for. Um, like a net see-through type situation. I wasn't really trying to do all that. And so I decided to take it back. But I did want to, I bought it because I wanted to try it on when I got home to see how it fits. And I know they have this in a longer version too. But this looks really cute. Like I said, if you guys are going on vacation and you don't mind giving a little see-through moment, but you can make this look, you know what I'm saying, a little upscale. It has the ruffles at the bottom. Really cute. But you definitely get body in this. 
So you gotta have you have your cute little frame. That's it right there. And then what else I bought? Oh, and then I bought this black bikini top because I was gonna wear it. I already had some black bikini bottoms, but y'all know I can't fit my old tops. So I had to buy this top, but I decided not to wear it. So taking that back and then this right here, I thought it was a brown tube top, but it's actually a one shoulder situation, which I don't mind it, but um, I'm not gonna wear this. So I'm taking this one back. So that lets you guys know that I have to go to Forever 21 today and take some stuff back if it's not raining. Really quick, y'all tell me what type of pastes y'all use because I've never used pastes before. And y'all know I bought these black ones right here, but they poke out so much. Like you can tell that I have something on right there. So y'all let me know what brand you guys wear. Something that's just thin, that's gonna look seamless. You're not gonna be able to tell that I have anything on so I can cover up my nipples. Because these right here, these just don't work. I guess unless I have on like a thick shirt. But if I'm trying to wear like a little tube top or something like that and I want some paces on over my nipples, I don't want, you know, to have that little bulge. So y'all let me know which ones y'all use. Because this, this ain't it. Now look what I just found. A free people gift card. <laughs> All right, so the room is cleared and ready for the couch. I still have to vacuum, but I'm gonna wait until it gets a little bit later because right now it's just way too early for that noise. So yeah, I'm ready for the couch. So I got some some sandwich today. Okay, y'all. So, I worked out at home today because I told y'all that I was expecting my couch. Ooh, excuse me. I was expecting my couch delivery. Well, the lady, she done called me twice. And she's saying she's waiting on the driver to call back to give me an estimated time on when he's able to deliver it. That's what she said the first time. Now, she just, kept, she just called me back and she said that the driver has the furniture on the on the truck but the problem is it has a man-made crate around the bottom plus a box and to get it in here they need to be able to remove the crate on the bottom of the box and i guess the people the the company that i'm working with on the sponsorship they don't want it to get ruined at all so they have it in that crate to, to support the box so that you know you don't get to the couch so now they have to wait for the company to approve them to remove the crate which removing the crate is the only way that they can deliver it so she said she was going to send me an email so i could see a picture of it of how they have it boxed up i'm going to look at the email really quick but that sucks if they can't deliver it today because I basically put my whole morning on hold 
and it was supposed to be here. Okay, here's Billy. That's her name. Ooh, it's they got this thing crated up. Let me um I had to kind of screenshot it and okay. So this is how they have it. I said she was gonna send me just one picture, but it's two pieces. So this is the couch, and this is how they have it. So they have to take that wood stuff off in order to lift it so um with this still on there they're saying they can't they can't get it in here so now i'm just waiting for her to call me back she said give her about an hour and like i said i hate that because you know when they give you like the delivery window like they say okay well we are, we're gonna deliver it between 9 and 12 and it's already 10 o'clock and now i have to wait another hour so i basically just wasted my morning i could have went to the gym this morning even though i did have a good workout i worked out with juice and toya um on youtube i just did a 25 minute upper body workout but i did want to go do my cardio so um and i had to go to the bank and i need to go to forever 21 to take that stuff back so i think i'm gonna go ahead and run to the bank really quick kalila's here but she's sleep because y'all know she works um overnight shift so um she's sleep but tony's here too so he could just wake her up if the people come but they're gonna call me before they come i'm close to the camera <laughs> they're gonna call me before they come so i'm gonna go ahead and just run to the bank because i have some um cash that i need to deposit because i took some cash out for the cruise but we ended up not spending that much they was just charging everything to the card so i'm gonna go ahead and put that back in the bank because if i don't then girl so i'm gonna do that and then i wanted to run to Forever 21 to take this stuff at, but I think that's pushing it. I'm not too sure if I should do that. I might, but if I wait and then they tell me, Oh, we'll deliver it tomorrow, I'm gonna be so mad, y'all. I'm gonna be mad because I hate wasting my day. I don't like that. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at I am Sharika B and I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't take it personal, oh. but I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away.